I got up about seven o'clock because I knew that there would be an eviction watch person uh, coming at, at nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. So I got up at uh, seven o'clock, you know, and I took a shower and everything. And then around, I, I knew that they were coming at nine or they were scheduled to come at nine. So around five minutes, five to 10 minutes before nine, I looked out the, the door to see if someone, you know, was coming with parking. I wanted to make sure that, you know, they got in and, and everything. And that's when I noticed, I looked and I noticed here comes three car, police cars at, at, you know, at pretty rapid speed. And they pull, one pulls up in the, in the drive, my neighbor's driveway, one pulls up uh, in front of their house and one a little bit further down. So they jumped out the cars and I said, oh. So, you know, I was like, well, you know, I had decided that I was going to be arrested, but only if it was a regular police presence. Like if, you know, maybe a couple of cars showed up, I was going to just say, well, I'm, you know, I'm going to be arrested. But I saw the amount of force after, you know, just a couple of minutes after the initial three cars pulled up and cars started coming in and from all different directions. And I said, well, if they're going to utilize this amount of force, I might as well just capitulate because I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be a, a statistic. I don't want them to do to to do any harm to me. You know, I'm a I'm a I'm a 59 year old man, and I just didn't want them to, to to do anything to me. So they came in. I opened the door. You know, I opened the door nice. You know, let them see where my hands were. So I opened the door. Then the, the marshal Macaluso, he came in and he told me, well, you know, Mr. Douglas, you have 10 minutes to vacate the premises and. Um, so I said, well, just let me get a few things together. You know, then he told me that, you know, the rest of my stuff, that uh, they were gonna come, eventually come and put it in storage. So I decided to just, you know, just to leave. I came over here, I have, I have a brother who lives right across the street here. So I decided to come over here and make my calls to the, to the watch people, to the, you know, other members of Take Back the mm -hmm. Land and, and other people, groups who are affiliated with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it, that's basically how it happened. You know, I, I looked, I, I, I watched over there as, as they started to seal my house up and, you know, then the, the members of the group started coming, but they couldn't even come onto the street because they had the street blocked off. Mm -hmm. They had the tape up. They were only letting in local traffic, people who lived here mm -hmm. or, 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 you know, had some concern here on the street. Mm -hmm. So that's basically, you know, what happened up until, you know, what you see out here right now. What were your th first thoughts when you saw the, the police show up? My first thoughts were that they were coming. I kind of, I kind of had an idea that they were coming, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, I had spoke to uh, Ryan. Uh, and he told me that the, 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 someone at the bank had told him that they were going to, you know, roll on them. You know, so, so I wasn't sure, but I had a sneaking suspicion. They didn't come yesterday. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I, I was just saying, you know, just waiting for the, for the other shoe to, to, to fall on. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, when I saw the, the first car, three cars pull up, I said, they're coming to, you know, remove uh -huh. me. How are you feeling right now? I feel I feel insulted. I feel humiliated that you know that it took this amount of, of, of force to 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 remove me. I'm just one man. You know, all I was doing was was defending, you know, but but not defending in a in a in a threatening way. You know my right to occupy a home that I purchased. Mm -hmm. You know, sure, I I I realize I fell, but I'm not going to make any excuses as to you know having fallen behind. But you know, I did pay full mortgage when I could, and I offered to pay. You know what 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 mortgage I I, I can pay. If, you know if 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 they could have you know negotiated with me in good faith, but they didn't. Mm -hmm. So it it makes me feel. It makes you feel insulted. It makes you feel humiliated that they would use excessive. This is excessive force, you know, irrespective of of, of of their claim that they're just doing their job and 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 that 
This many police represents a presence to guarantee the safety of, of myself or, or, or anyone else in the in, in, in on, on the street and to guarantee the safety of the police. So you need this many police to guarantee the safety against an unarmed middle-aged man with, with, with health problems? Come on, this is excessive. I don't care what they say. It's, it's, it's it implicitly excessive. You know, it's implied that if you were to if you were to to give us any trouble, you would have to face 15, 20 police officers. Well, I mean, come on. To me, that that's that's insulting. Mm -hmm. Now, what are you saying about me? You know, I haven't demonstrated any, you know, a uh, 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 violent or 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 violently rebellious tendencies in in my you know defending my home so you know here you come all these you know all these officers i feel i feel bad i feel i feel violated you know i really do i feel i feel terrible you know but i'm going to i'm going to hold on you know i have i have you know a few places where you know options where i can go to to, to stay you know, temporarily until I can find something a little bit, you know, more stable. But it is, it is my intention, it is my, it is my stated intention to come back to my home. I will be back occupying this home for years now. So that's sort of the next step, it's figuring out how to do that. Yes, figuring out how to do that. <coughs> but I'm going but I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to do it because what they did was just, it was just, un it was, to me it was un uncalled for. This degree of, 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 of force is uncalled for. Mm -hmm. And I am not gonna just stand by and let them do this. I'm gonna squawk from, from, the, from the local, county, state, government, I'm gonna squawk to whomever will listen. Mm -hmm. and, and, and what I wanna do is I wanna show people, I wanna demonstrate to people, this is what you have to face if you fall behind on your mortgage. You know, this is this this degree of 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 you know just excessive. Look at what they, look at what they're doing. They're 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 sealing it up. You know, they're sealing the home up. How does this look in this neighborhood? How does this look? I mean, this is ridiculous. This is utterly utterly ridiculous. What are your thoughts on the police and the system and the banks? Oh, they're they're oh, they're they're just here to enforce the, the 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 wishes of the bank. They're they're not. I thought you know that protection under the law was equal. Right. You know where is where where are my uh, uh, police to 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 to, to help to protect me, you to protect yeah. me to right. protect my interests? They're not here. They're only here to protect the interests of the bank. That's it. Right. And. You know that is not, that that is not equal protection. You know I'm at I'm at a serious disadvantage in this situation, and I am I'm, I'm going to fight it. I'm going to fight it to my to tooth and nail to my last breath. You know because I I just don't like what I don't like what they've done here. Yeah. You know I really don't. So do you have anything else you want to say? I want to say that I want to thank. The, the, the people who are out here, who are, are, are standing by me, you know, and standing behind me, I really do. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's important that you know we demonstrate and we show, you know, support for people who are in this predicament, mm -hmm. you know, because it's it, it's us versus them. Mm -hmm. It's it's every day, average Joe against the 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 the, 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 the big banks and. And, and the authorities. Mm -hmm. And I want to say that I just want to I want to thank everybody for coming out here. Um, just one last comment about uh, take back the land. Any comments about that? Take I, the comment. Take back the land is is a, is a wonderful group whose mission it is to afford everyone the the human right of, of, of affordable housing and to you know protect people the average person's interest. In, in keeping and defending their home, to actually take take the land back from the banks and give it back to the people. So.